Hi, oh my god, Chaos here again. I have with another real life tech profile, and this time I am showing my updated uh, All Does Magician deck. Uh, so, I, yeah, I guess let's go this deck. Made some few uh, changes to this deck, and we got some new cards as well. Of course, first the monsters. Of course, first a uh, free uh, All Dice Pendulum Dragon. Of course, the key card of this deck. Then, one Xianka Magician, of course, really good as well to make your uh, All Dice Rebellion Dragon. And of course, good against the light based decks as well. Then, uh, three uh, Dragon Pit Magician, of course, the main, your main eight scale. You're going to use most of the time, at least with magicians. Then, free uh, oath dragon magician. Of course, we uh, must mean a uh, low uh, magician scale. Of course, really good recycle your magicians from Dexter deck. But uh, unfortunately, this card is not as good as it used to be because of Wisdom Eye being limited. But still, it's really good, of course, for other plays as well. Then, of course, that limited Wisdom Eye Magician. Too bad it got limited, but I guess it was kind of unnecessary because otherwise, I guess, um, the Magician engine, engine would have been used in uh, their fall or something like that, so, yeah. And the last uh, Pendulum Magician and Noble Dragon Magician, of course, to make some Synchro plays. Uh, so, yeah, really good card for sure. That was all the um, uh, old eyes, and uh, I mean the Magician Monsters and the old eyes, the main old monster. Then, the Perfor Pulse, because, of course, you're going to use uh, of them. First, the uh, Perfopal Splash Mammoth, and really good card to make your old ice vortex dragon. So that's why I use it, and yeah, I think it's really good. And you, you can also contact fusion for beast dice uh, with this card as well. Then, one Perfopal Monkey Board, of course, still really broken. Then, a new addition to the stack. Uh, two uh, Perfopal uh, All Eyes uh, Light Phoenix. It's a um, level 5 uh, a Pendulum, uh, scale free, and uh, of course a search with it, a Sky Iris. I think it's definitely pretty good, and uh, it also com can combine well with your Noble Dragon because it's a level 5 All Eyes monster, so you can, you can make a level 8 uh, Dragon Synchros with this as well now, so that's definitely pretty good. But I will uh, cut it down to 1 once uh, uh, that uh, another level 5 or oh, the monster comes out that works like a uh, Nex of Glossos. Then of course the one Skullgava Joker, of course I don't think I need to explain this, right for the limited. Then one Perfopal Trump Girl, another way to uh, fusion someone into a Vortex Dragon, and also you can go into Rune Eyes with this card as well. And in the future, I, with this card, you can go into a Star Venom Fusion Dragon. The last Perfopals, uh, two uh, Perfopal uh, All Eyes uh, Unicorn. So, definitely really good. Uh, um, scale 8 that is searched with uh, a Sky Iris, so that's definitely really good for this deck. But I probably will cut it down to 1 as well once uh, all that Mirage Dragon comes out. Then some other monsters. All that Scarlet Dragon. Uh, of course, really good. Um, especially no nowadays when, when uh, I guess, backrow based decks are becoming uh, more popular again with thanks to Cart of the Mai, so 
this card can be very useful. Bought single oil back row, so you can freely go off and all the care of plants potentially. Then uh, two, uh, two magician, another of course a really good card, level one tuner, but it's uh, unfortunately it's uh, not as good anymore in this deck because of course um, a lot of the time you don't have two magician scales. Um, you might use uh, some other scale like or that unicorn or something like that. So, but still, I think it's really good for the stick. And finally, performable second donkey. Just search out any performable you want if you have two scales. So, if you're like normal summon this card, get like splash mode to your hand, and then pen or some other thing to go into vortex plan. They are pretty nice plays with this card for sure. And then the last three monsters are. Three minus spectrum unicorn Kirin. Of course, still I think it's too good not to run in this deck, just so powerful. One of the best to have pendulum monsters ever created for sure. So that was uh, all the other monsters. Now let's see the spell cards and the trap cards, are trap card as well, because there are not many trap cards in this deck. First, uh, of course. All the dragon to summon out your all as gravity dragon, so yeah, pretty good. But of course, you can ritual summon other dragons as well with this card. So maybe in the future, you could create the ritual version of this deck potentially. I might consider it once when the Splitwas Chaos Mox Dragon comes out because I think that card could be pretty good in here. Then, free Pendulum Call, of course, a really good card as well. And of course, this card that get uh, any two magicians from the deck. And of course, protects your scale, scale as, well, as well for that turn. Yeah, some even say that this card should be limited, like in Toshiji, but I personally don't think so. I think, yeah, maybe if, it, if the Magician deck will do more in the Cooperative scene in the future, then maybe it can be limited. But for now, I think the card is fine. I don't think the card is really that broken. It's uh, very different from. Uh, and one card scales like Monkey Board and Scout because, of course, yeah, first you have to discard a card, and the second, it, it, this card is not searchable like Monkey Board and Scout are. So, yeah. Then, of course, to Sky Iris, of course, uh, one, of the, one of the key cards in the deck for sure. Might even run free, but it might become too clocky, I think, for this deck. Yeah, especially now we have lost chicken game as well. And of course to terraforming. And then the traps. Uh, Solar morning, of course, staple. Iris emptiness, pretty good. I got my trap hole and I had the right attribute. That was the spells and traps. Now let's see the exit. First, the uh, Rune nice Pendulum Dragon. Yeah, pretty good, but you're not going to summon it very often in this deck. Just as an extra fusion option for a uh, Trump Girl. Yeah, and for sure, this card will probably be replaced with uh, Star Venom Fusion Dragon. I think that card is quite a lot better. But for now, I will keep it then. Then, of course, Beast Ice Pendulum Dragon. Uh, pretty good. The Contact Fusion Beast type. Monster and uh, Dark Dragon Monster, so yeah, so the main target, your piece type monster is uh, our uh, Splash Mammoth, um, Monkey Board and Second Donkeys, I don't think there's anything else, and Unicorn as well, but I don't think you're going to contact vision with those. And of course, all the Vortex Dragon, of course, the best fusion in the stack at least really powerful and I wish I could yeah, unfortunately only, only have one uh, because this card is still pretty expensive but I might get another one uh, uh, once the mega team, teams come out in the synchros enlargement paladin of course really good pretty good at least and of course uh, yeah pretty good they gotta cycle your spells 
then hold the right click on Archman, of course destroy the whole field. I will probably run scar right instead of this, but unfortunately I don't have it, so I think this ha will have to do. I cut the, the abyss for the aforementioned region, because uh, a lot of time I can't revive my junior magician, so I don't think abyss is really necessary in this deck. Then Ignister, of course, um, really powerful, of course, really good against the Cosmo and all that. And there is a new way to summon it in the stack as well, thanks to all the Light Phoenix. And of course, Stardust Dragon. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain this. Protect your scales. Then Ordice Metarobus Dragon. I don't think you need, need, need to explain this either. Then Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Just an extra level 7 for Noble Dragon. But we'll probably replace it with Clearing Single Dragon if once I can get the that card. Then, uh, or the Rebellion Dragon, of course. Sometimes you summon it and just do the Kero Plant. Then, uh, or the Zapdos Dragon, the main rank 7 you run in, in this deck. Of course, really good. Then, number 39, you talk beyond. Kind of uncertain about this card. But at the same time, it can definitely be really powerful with all the spend of Zion uh, and easily all, all the KO point with that. And I do have quite a few level 6 monsters in the stack. Well. So I think it's I think it's pretty good in the stack. And then the rank 4, Dark River Nexus Dragon, and Custard the Scarver's Musketeer. So that was the excellent. So, this was my update uh, old Magician deck. Yeah, this deck is still uh, really powerful and I hope I will do well in my next uh, local tournament. I haven't been in my locals uh, about uh, two months, so that's pretty exciting. But yeah, hopefully this deck will not get hit that much in the next panelist. But if it gets hit, then I will just... Uh, um, keep this de this deck as a fun deck. But uh, for now, uh, goodbye and um, 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 out.